Hello there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and another card making video. I am so thankful you stopped by. This is episode two of my January stamp set of the month series featuring the special delivery stamp set from Lawn Fawn. You can see it here. I'm going to be stamping out the chubby little bird and wings to go with and making this bird into a robin for today's card. I'm also gonna use some of the bugs from a bug deal stamp set, the worm. There is a little roly poly, as we call them in my house, and a grasshopper. And then I'm gonna bring out one more stamp set because I wanted a baby bird or two for today's card. So I looked through my sets and found this little bird in the fox costume before and after stamp set, and it was the perfect baby bird to go with this set. I'm gonna stamp all of those out with jet black ink so I can do some Copic coloring. I am gonna stamp them two times. I actually stamped another sheet just like this for my second project in today's video. So I'm coloring the beak and the feet with Y17, and then I found some pictures on the World Wide Web that inspired me to color my robin. So I'm doing the center of the bird with R17 and R24. Most of these had where the red covers up the eyes and the beak. Um, this one did not, and I think that co coloring this so that the red did not cover the eyes and beak and just was on the belly might be a really cute look for a robin too. So then I'm going to color around the outside edge with my E markers so that I can blend them together where they meet. I used E markers that had a little bit of a reddish undertone. So my darkest is E39, my mid-tone is E15, and my lightest is E13. Now I did go over these areas a couple times just to really get those to blend together because they're they don't naturally want to blend together. So you have to give them a little extra layering. And there is my little robin. So cute. And then I'm gonna color up the worm with YG11 as my lightest, add in my shadows with YG17 and blend that out with YG13. And that is my cute little worm. He is um, a star feature in today's cards. And then I'm coloring out my little roly poly with some T markers to make him look black. And then I'll color out the grasshopper with the same colors. And then I wanted to show you on the baby bird, I did use my R17 to add little dots of red on his belly so he looks like maybe he's starting to grow into the robin with the red belly and then I'm adding in some white highlights with my gel pen to finish off these images before I go ahead and die cut them out but here you can see all the markers that I use to color today's images so if you wanted to replicate any of those combinations you can I'm bringing in that coordinating die set to die cut out all the things as well as the dies from the other sets and there you can see all the images I made for today Today's projects die cut and ready to go. Next, I have this tree backdrop with lift the flaps that I'm going to use for my slimline card. Now, this isn't slimline size, so what I'm doing is cutting off the frame around the trees, and then I can cut the trees apart, and I'll have a tree for each end of my card. I really love this die set. I use it a lot. Next, I have the Lift the Flat Meadow. I die cut two bushes from this set. And then I'm bringing in a Trinity Stamps die, this long grassy border from The Great Outdoors that I will cut a panel from. Then I'm using the large and small slimline dies from Lawn Fawn to create a white frame for my shaker. I also use this Trinity Stamp die set to create rainbow cards recently, and I had a whole bunch of rainbows left over that I glued down to panels so I could use at another time. I also splattered it with some shimmer, so this is ready to go. I'm just gonna take that large slimline die and die cut out that panel so it's the same size on the outer edge as my frame, which is eight and a half by three and a half. Now, if you're interested in the cards that I made with that rainbow originally, I will link that for you at the end of this video so you can check that out. And then I am just adding some Mode Lawn Distress Ink to the edge of my greenery. I'm gonna glue my grass to the back of my frame and that will just peek out from the bottom there, just like that. 
and I can trim off any excess if it hangs over. And then I have some scrap pieces of craft cardstock that I'm gonna put behind the flaps in my tree. So when you open it, you can see a little sentiment and I can add some little images in there. So I'm gonna glue those, just adding glue around that opening and then I opened up the flap so I could see when I stuck it down. And I'll repeat that for the other tree that says miss you. Um, these little tiny sentiments are from the special delivery stamp set. I love that it says chirp chirp. There's actually two stamps in that set that say chirp chirp. One is more on a curvy line, so that's cute. I'm gonna add the trees to the back of my frame. They are gonna hang out a little bit and I'll just cut the extra away with my scissors. And I'm just making sure to get the glue on the edges of that tree so that it doesn't show from the front of my card. And there we go, we have our two trees. Next, I'm going to put glue all the way around and on the back of the trees and the grass to glue down my window sheet because I am creating a shaker card. So I'll glue that in place and then I put some heavy blocks on it to let it sit and dry until um, I had my other stuff together and then I added some foam strips in and around my background making a reservoir for my shaker elements and then I use my anti-static powder tool on the edges of that as well as my rainbow background and then I'm adding in these raindrop, um, they're like confetti pieces and they're iridescent. They are from Trinity Stamps right now. They're waiting for their embellishment collection to be back in stock because I believe they switched vendors. So they will have all their embellishments back very soon. I'm gonna add that rainbow panel to the back just using like my lines on my grid mat to get that background on just right. Now this card is inspired by a song that I love. It's called Robin in the Rain and it's a children's song by Raffi and it talks about all the little things that Robin does, running in the garden on his nimble feet, digging for his dinner with his long strong beak, um, you don't mind the weather. It's just a really cute song so I decided to have the raindrops and the rainbow and the robin digging for his worm meal in the grass after the rain. So I wanted my uh, wings to be up higher on this chubby little bird, so I cut them apart before gluing them on. And now I'm adding the bushes and the little um, extra bugs behind them. So I put one on down lower on the card and one up higher just for a little variation and then the grasshopper will go behind the second bush. I figured they're hiding out from the rain, trying to take cover in the bushes. <laughs> and then I'll add in my baby birds. They're gonna go in one of the trees because I figured probably the robin in the rain is digging for worms to feed the babies, right? So they're in their little nest in the tree, and I'm gonna have one worm kind of poking out um, from behind that frame. I had to trim it down because I didn't have a lot of extra to peel it back. And then I'm gonna cut back one of my worms. Um, I'm cutting its head off, it's very sad, I know. Um, but I wanted this to be hanging from the bird's mouth and I just couldn't do it with a smiling worm. I just, it seemed wrong, so I just cut it off so you can see. And then I realized I didn't need to draw in the black line because the end of the worm actually does not show. I wasn't sure how it would fit in there. So I'm adding this onto my card with some foam squares, and you can see just by using that little beak die for that they have in this set for the bird and cutting his beak open, you can add a lot of fun things in there besides an envelope. So today it is a worm. And there you have it, there's my shaker card. I wanted a certain sentiment for my card and I just couldn't come up with it with my dies and that would fit on here. And so I made my own sentiments on my silhouette. I am gonna have this as a printable available for you. So if you wanna print these out and cut them out yourself, you can. I have mine um, cut like bubble cut and I did that on my silhouette as well as a mat for them. I'm gonna have a separate video on how I made this because I know not all of you are um, into the silhouette and it's also a process you could do on your um, Cricut if you have that. So I am going to finish off this card with a couple hearts right in the middle of those flaps on the tree in red. I just needed to bring in a little bit more red since my rainbow is soft colors but the red on my 
birds is bright. So there you have it. Then I'm going to bring in one of my other custom sentiments that I made that says sending warm hugs, but it's worm sending worm hugs. I thought it was just really cute. I'll add in one of my extra worms there and another red heart to finish off the inside of this cute little card. Love it. And then you just shake it and the raindrops are flying and you have the rainbow in the background and all the lift the flaps. And now let's make a little treat holder to go with it. So in episode one, I showed you guys how to make a little box out of this. And in that video, I was debating putting a little bag of treats inside that box, but the bag was a little bit too big. So I also had this idea. I'm going to share it with you. It has a connector piece that is one and one fourth of an inch by two and one fourth of an inch. You're going to score it at one fourth of an inch three eighths of an inch and one inch. Now right here, I didn't do that extra scored line down the middle, um, but I will actually manually fold it here in a minute. So I wanted to have that picture at the beginning of this process so you can see how you would score it rather than folding it by hand. So it's gonna kind of have a gusset at the bottom and it's not going to be um, closed on the sides. It'll be open on the side so you could fit something a little bit bigger that's in a bag in between the two birdhouses. So you can see it's gusseted there at the bottom and I just glued it down so that the edge of that connector piece lines up with the edge of the red birdhouse. I'm gonna put some clips on that to help that dry and bring in my gummy worms. <laughs> I got these in the bulk foods at my grocery store I knew any bag of gummy worms that I would buy would be way too big for this, but I thought it would just be a really fun little thing to go along with this card. So I was able to fit four gummies in there. Um, my cellophane bag, I am going to measure and put on the screen. I was going to do that before, but I forgot. And it's just something I've had on hand for ever this small cellophane bag. Um, I put some glue dots on the inside of one of my birdhouses. This is the back side, or what will be the back side. And then I can tuck my little treat bag in there. Now, my gusset, the middle of my gusset folds up. If I was to redo this, I would have that gusset fold down. I would put it on opposite of how I did. But this is kind of a, you know, creation in process. I did not make this before I made the video. So now I am adding a tag from one of my sentiments that I created myself. And it says warm wishes, but it says worm wishes. And I'm going to tie that through the hole I created at the top of the birdhouse with some red and white twine. I'm just going to tie this in a bow, but you could also have this be a tag that you would hang on to um, another present. So there you can see the bag kind of pokes out on the sides, um, but that's okay. That's what I made this style of holder for. And now I'm going to add on my robins. So I have one eating the worm. I have one, I glued the wings on without cutting it apart and they just need to go down lower on the bird. So two different looks with the wings if you cut the wings apart or leave them together. I'll add two little baby birds because they're super cute. One will be peeking out from that birdhouse. And then for a final touch, I'm going to add a die cut heart from this set in green at the top of the house. It just calls for it right there, a little heart. So those are my two projects for episode number two. I thank you so much for stopping by. I would love to hear your thoughts and comments on today's cards. What do you think about these birds as robins? Do you buy it? Do they look like robins? And I would love to know your thoughts. So leave me a comment below. I have all the things I used listed and linked for you in the description box. And I will be back again next Tuesday with episode number three. So make sure you tune in if you would like more ideas with this special delivery stamp set. I'll see you then. Happy stamping. Bye.